In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We say all together, you are, you are so lovely. You are so lovely in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There was a one family, a beautiful family. A mom and dad and two children were well, how in the harmony they lived well. But as we know very well in our life, not just you know the life is just always good and it goes, you know, the everything okay. No. Sometimes you know, up and down. In this family happened something. The business of a father was going, you know, the uh, failed anyway, down, down. And for this, you know, the uh, shocking uh, business you know, failed, uh, unfortunately, father passed away. As you know, uh, being a, a mom and a woman alone for, uh, with two children, she, you know, the, has decided to be more strong to look after uh, her children. It's not easy. Every day, she tried to work hard for her lovely two children. But unfortunately, happened again. Some point we say tragedy came to her life too. I mean, she was ill, like you know Parkinson, you know this disease. So she couldn't do nothing. She not you know the uh, easy to work neither. She was home, but every times she cried, and uh, she didn't know uh, what she did anyway, what to do actually because she was not Christian. So she didn't know who is a God, who is a Jesus Christ. By chance, one of the neighbors came to her and visited her, obviously, you know. And uh, just, you know, the, by chance, uh, she has invited her to, if possible, to go together in one of the church, in a village church. She said no, because if God is good, God is, you know, the love. Why happened everything, you know, these things in my, my life? How can I look after my two children now? But neighbor, uh, friend insisted. But I heard many people uh, healed when uh, they prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. So we don't know if you could ask me too. I will ask in the name of Jesus Christ for you. You one day will be healed, definitely. And will look out very well, your lovely children. So, after some days, she had an um, encouragement in heart and decided to follow her slowly. Okay, getting now to the church life. It was not easy. How many times she had uh, received the challenge? Challenge means, uh, you know, follow the worship and uh, prayer, everything that she did. And uh, uh, approximately, you know, seven years. But unfortunately, she has passed away. When I heard, uh, I was very upset. Why? Seven years, yeah, seven years, she asked in the name of Jesus Christ, but not healed, just died. Remain two children. How could it happen? If you are really merciful God, you have created us, why you give us this painful life, tragedy things? It was so sad, and all you know, the village or towns and people who knows them was very upset. Include you know the priest too, no. The day of a, a funeral service, and uh, everybody was upset, and uh, started the worship, and funeral service. During these times, one of a child came up, and said. Uh, 
I want to tell you one thing. My mom's compassion before dying, two days before he passed away, she passed away. She said to us, "As you know very well, I'm getting to die now, and also, you know very well, I am not healed. My sickness is still there. But, but listen carefully. I know now what God wants to me." Not to be healed, but I confess to you, I'm so happy now because I know who is really Jesus Christ. My beloved children, please, our aim is not to be healed, not to be, you know, the what I want or successful. That is not God's will. That is not our will. God's will and our will is to know who is God, who is Jesus Christ. If I not didn't go to the church, I have never ever know who is God, who is Jesus Christ, who is my Lord. So don't be upset. But. Rejoice, because you know now who is Jesus Christ. Many people, unfortunately, follow the false prophet words, a false imagine, false figure, false program or desire. That is not no good. Why we believe in God? Just one, just one. Aim one goal: to know each other, to enter His kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, many many times we ask with ourselves: We believe indeed in God, or we believe because I need something. I feel my feeling something is wrong, so I need something. No. Not that one. Like this lady's faith is so important, even though she was not healed. But for seven years, every day, every moment, she cried in the name of Jesus Christ, and finally she could understand. She knew who is Jesus Christ. Abraham first reading. Abraham first reading. He asked the Lord. Please, Lord, don't destroy this, you know, town Sodom and Gomorrah. Even though their sins are reached now in the kingdom of heaven, if I found fifty people, please don't destroy them. The Lord said, "No, I don't destroy it." If I find forty-five. Forty, thirty, twenty, fifteen, and ten. I trust my Lord will not be angry if I speak once more. Perhaps there will be only be ten. I will not destroy it, he replied, for the sake of the ten. But what happened? We know very well the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Has destroyed means the Lord has not found the ten right people. We have a problem, isn't it? Trouble. If God, you know, ask me, Andrew, you think you are honest man? How can I say yes? But God knows my heart. You know. I'll try to be honest man in the name of Jesus Christ, not in my name. My dear brothers and sisters, it is so important. Please don't give up. I'm sure in our congregation, in our parish church, 
in God's sight, there are more than 10 people are living here. I'm sure. How gracious believe in the name of Jesus Christ. The second reading tells us about our baptism. You have been buried with Christ when you were baptized. It is. And by baptism, too, you have been raised up with him through your belief in the power of God who raised him from the dead. Please don't follow this world, the voice of this world. Please listen, follow the word of God. If you follow the voice of this world, your life will be perished, finished one day, as a, or like ashes. Your goal is to go to cremat cremation, cremat crematorium, or the cemetery. Our life, the end of our life, not that one. Enter the kingdom of heaven. How important Jesus stressed about importance of the prayer. To pray means the master, the master key. The prayer is the master key. What is impossible with our eyes cannot open the door, but with the prayer we can open this door, which is sometimes is impossible for us. The prayer has a never ever holiday. To pray continually. How can I pray? I remember when I was a, a child, and uh, I wished to be more holy man. So I asked my confessor, uh, spiritual director, how can I pray continually? Because I tried with my, because that time I thought that the prayer is just with my heart. I'm saying what I want, just to come you know, through in my mouth. For example, oh, Heavenly Father, we, I'm, I'm just, you know, the, uh, just, you know, the something compassion. Yes, why, why, why not? That is a prayer too. But he said one day, um, you try to pray with the word of God. I said, what does it mean? Means you take the Bible and then choose one, you know, the, any, you know, the uh, books and uh, try to read slowly. I said, yeah, sometimes I read, but okay, I try. My dear brothers and sisters, from that time, my prayer has changed. Sometimes we don't know how can we pray. Jesus' disciples asked the same to Jesus. Jesus' simple word said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us Today, daily bread means ask, ask, ask every day, every day, every day. If you are not praying with the word of God, please try from now with the word of God. If you pray, your prayer will be perfect. I want to conclude this, you know, the uh, homily, which is, all the times guide me, protect me, and lead me by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said to me, Andrew, remember this word. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will always have the door opened to him. Like this lady 
who has passed away, even though not been healed, but she has found the eternal life. In the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.